Hello again, YouTube. Wanted to give you an update on how things are going. Last Sunday, we last weekend, we went camping at the uh, Cleveland State Park, and everything went very well. The 30 amp worked really well. The tent worked really well. We learned a few things on how we do things differently, but overall, it was a good experience. <clears throat> I've ordered several things for the camper shell to update it, and I was doing some got to reseal all the windows so I got some butyl uh, tape for that and I was working on one of the windows and uh, was working in uh, flip-flops which I, I do better and I fell off the um, tailgate of my truck uh, straight to the cement bummed up my chin feeling up pretty good now this is last Sunday so it's Saturday morning now and bummed up my uh, foot pretty bad so I'm having to take a a little bit of time off to stay off the foot so it can get uh, healed up. But I've ordered some goodies. I'll show you what I've got. So I've got a 2004 GMC with a leaking windshield washer bottle. So I ordered the windshield washer bottle, the hose, the pump, and all the replacement parts for that to get it up to speed. I also ordered the uh, auxiliary battery box and cables and other connectors and a stinger here to isolate the auxiliary battery from the starting battery. I also have ordered a fuse block for the 12 volt in the uh, camper shell and all the connectors and 12 volt uh, well LED, light, LED strip lights for the inside of the camper shell. I've got a roll of Reflectix to insulate inside the shell and I got a 200 watt solar panel set up from Renergy uh, Energy. I ordered it off of Amazon and we're going to see if we can rig up the solar panels on top of the Kemper shell as well. I also ordered and received two of these uh, 12 volt vent uh, power vent fans that I'm going to mount in the top of the Kemper shell to vent out the uh, heat heated air during the day. So they ought to run off of the uh, deep cell batteries as well. So I got to reseal all the windows and get this thing watertight. I've got it bolted to the uh, trailer bed or truck bed. The uh, clamps weren't holding it to my satisfaction, sealing it down to my satisfaction. So I went on ahead and drilled holes and clamped it down and it's got a watertight seal to the bed. But we have some small leaks around the uh, aged seals on the windows so I've got some new butyl tape to replace that as luck turned out now this is this crazy Texas weather yesterday on Friday the uh, April the 6th it was 75 degrees and sunshiny and blue skies and today in North Texas it's 32 degrees and drizzly rainy and cold outside so between the combination of my hurt foot and my and it's my uh, desire not to work in the cold weather, we're going to have to wait until all of this passes over. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Like the video. And I'll show you some of the things as we uh, install it, how it's going.